Next we will show you how to place a delivery order. We will click on the pickup or delivery button and in here uh, we need to first choose whether this is a delivery or a pickup order. Let's stick to a delivery order in here for this video tutorial even though if we were to choose a pickup order uh, most of what we'll do in here will be exactly the same for a pickup order with the exception of you're not gonna send the order with a driver to be delivered but you're gonna wait for the customer to come and uh, pick up their order. Next we need to enter the customer's phone number in here and this is so that we can have a unique reference like a unique identifier for the order so that um, also we can separate all of the rest of the orders that we're having in that, that one day or uh, to be able to call back in case if there are any problems with the order or the driving directions. Then we need to just click on add a new order and now as you can see the customer records opened up for us and since this was an existing customer uh, the phone number was found in the database it retrieved all of their data and filled that out for us in here now as you can also see in here in the comments section there's plenty of room to enter driving directions or whatever other description or text you need to you know make your job easier on delivery or even pickups so we'll go ahead and uh, enter driving directions in here I'll we'll click update because we're obviously making changes to the customer record. Now we'll place the order just like any other order we've placed before. You're familiar with this menu. The only difference in here is the table number is really the telephone number. So that gives it away on any receipt in the kitchen or anywhere. When you see instead of a ta table number you have a telephone number. You know it's a delivery but it will also say delivery on the receipt as it does say deliver in here and this label on the screen kind of like reminding us that this is a delivery order not a regular one so we'll go ahead and place the the order just like any other order we've done before nothing special in here now we're talking about different options in placing orders and in general sales it doesn't have to be a pickup or a delivery it could be a regular old sale for a table or for a person that's right in front of us uh, you know sometimes you have the need restaurants have the need to charge what they call a service charge uh, a, a percentage of the entire amount to kind of like hike up the price uh, for uh, some special service charge that they do um, in this case let's say for delivery we do a service charge all you need to do is click the service charge button and it will ask you what kind of a percentage do you want to charge for this we'll, we'll put 10 percent let's say so it adds a 10 percent service charge to our bill and then just like any other order uh, you know all we gotta do is click print and place order in here and it will go through and on final note, once your um, once the order is done, and you're sending the the driver to go and uh, deliver this order, you can go back in here and pick up or delivery at any any moment. Select the order by the phone number as a unique identifier, and uh, click view existing order to be back at that order. And uh, you can, if you want to send the driver not with just like the regular printed out receipt, but you wanna have a receipt with a tip line so maybe whoever's receiving this order can put a tip on there you can do print invoice table invoice with a tip line which is this button in here not to be confused with just print a table invoice regular table invoice without a tip line which is this button in here now again let's say the driver goes and delivers the order and now they're back with the collected funds we're going to go to pick up or delivery in order to you know finalize and tender the payment select the order in question click view existing order and all we do is check out in here to tender out the payment and everything else uh, at this point is just like for any other order before you hit tender select of course the payment method at all 
and that's how we do delivery and pickups.